Hello, Springerbeck. Uh, day two of V-Strom petrol tank de-rust. Uh, I'm just draining now the phosphoric acid solution that was in the tank overnight. It's uh, half past nine in the morning and I put this in at five o'clock yesterday evening. So it's had plenty of time. Uh, Something's, something's been happening. I can't really see in there. I need to get a torch. Um, it's like a sort of a grey brown uh, flex, and uh, there's a fair bit of loose stuff coming out. So anyway, I'm going to drain this. Then I'm gonna put a gallon of hot, hot soapy water in to uh, and swish it all around. Maybe do two or three of those to neutralise the acid. Um, then I've got to figure out what I'm gonna put in next. Uh, whether to go straight with fuel. Uh, well, I've got to get all the water out first from the hot soapy water. You're supposed to put um, uh, alcohol or something in there to draw out the water. So I'm not sure. I'll, I'll get this drained first and I'll get it cleaned out. Denatured alcohol apparently. Who knows where you get that from. But uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, just put in half a bucket of very hot soapy dishwasher water oh washing up liquid water lots of washing up liquid put that in swished it all around just emptying that out and I'll put some more in I'll probably do it three or four times um, hopefully the alkaline in the washing up liquid will help to neutralize I don't know just make it up as I go along so I'm going to do this three or four times now. So that's what came out from me just emptying the phosphoric. Um, while I'm sloshing around this water in there, I can actually hear, I can hear loads of rust in the tank. So this is, yeah, when I've finished doing this, I'm going to have to take the sump off and then I'm going to have to uh, wash out all the, all the big bits try and get all the particles out and then put some back on and slosh it again and keep going and then I think after that it's probably going to be WD-40 sprayed in there liberally um, and then petrol I'm actually filtering this water each time I put it through catching loads of rust okay right well I've rinsed it out fully with water and uh, that's got loads more rust in it well it says rust it's turned it to uh, whatever rust phosphate <laughs> iron phosphate whatever and uh, the rust does you can't see I wish I could turn the light on somehow anyway there's no rust inside the tank now it's just like a grey you can't see so right I'm gonna clean that sump out put it back on put some petrol in swish all the petrol around uh, trying to clean out the rest of it oh, there's a, a helicopter right above me you noisy git go away I'm filming alrighty I've emptied out as much of the rinse water as I can now I've got a hair dryer blowing in see if I can dry it out it's coming out hot from the gas uh, from the filler cap which is now at the bottom so see how that goes see if I don't blow up this hair dryer all right that's drying very well with the hair dryer and I don't know if you can see very well but where we used to have rust we now have
just a, a layer of iron phosphate I believe so yeah it's looking pretty good uh, anyway uh, still a bit of water in there get it dried out uh, just changed position I tipped it up and some water came down into the bottom so I'm sort of mopping that up with a towel and I figured if I get it going this way and hopefully the, the water will evaporate out of here it's very hot, it's red hot that, good resorted to paper towels just for that very bottom bit there that seems to have soaked up the last of it I'm gonna keep this running now till I think it's all bone dry uh, and then it's whether I whether I uh, squirt a load of WD-40 in there and then put the petrol in or just put petrol in Knowing that there's a, uh, well, all, all the rust is out and there's a layer of iron phosphate in there. Uh, whatever happens, it's obviously going to be, excuse me, I'm just picking off this <laughs> double-sided tape. Um, yeah, whatever happens, it's obviously going to be way less rust and less problem than it was before. So, yeah just reading other people's posts who do the tanks they just say once you get it dry dry um, coat it with oil or a light oil or WD-40 give it a splish round so I think I'm gonna do it anyway I haven't got a lot I've only got about whatever's in that baby can and there's another can somewhere I've only got a little bit so I think I'll give it a squirt and missed it and then uh, put it all back together and then I'm going to get some fresh fuel because that fuel I drained out yesterday um, well I noticed when I was draining the water out of this that a lot of the rust was finer than the, than the little gauze sieve in there so I could yeah I could find a, a better filter to put that through but I think I'll just put fresh fuel in it, give it a better chance, and this I can use this for the lawnmower. I'll find like a, some of those like coffee filter things or something to reuse that. It's, there's only there's about 12 liters there. Okay. All right, I've sprayed it with WD. All I've done is just squirted. There was a little bit left in there, and I put about half of this can in squirted it sloshed it around the whole tank and now now that's sitting in the bottom of there which i'm gonna get rid of i'm gonna soak that so that it's just a light layer over the tank um not really sure why i have to do this but it's what everybody says to do because uh, as soon as i put petrol in as soon as i put petrol in it's gonna just wash that away but maybe it's if you not gonna you know if you're doing your tank but it's not gonna get used for a bit so anyway I've done it so so there and uh, that small amount of WD coating on the inside of the tank it's not gonna do anything it'll just burn in the uh, in the combustion chamber so yeah I'm gonna get that out now all right uh, I've had to rewire these uh, connectors because when I was putting them on the pink one it snapped where it bends and then I checked the black one and that was just about to snap and then I checked the main big fat one and that was well on its way to snapping so what I've done is taken some of these taken the blue plastic off bent them 90 degrees and um, put some shrink heat shrink on these wires crimped them on and then heat shrunk them back so 
hopefully I don't take them on and off too many times they'll, they'll be a bit stronger so that was a bit unforeseen but it looked like one or two of them was about to go anyway right well it's all back together um, I didn't get new fuel what I've done is I've filtered the fuel I took out of it and uh, I've used a towel to filter it and obviously there's the gauze in fact there's nothing in the gauze so that will have filtered out any decent size molecules so let's get rid of this lot and give it a start I hope well she started up fine uh, I was just watching the fuel gauge was flashing but it's obviously catching up now right well I think that should be it she's back together seems to be working put the seat on I need to clean it up now I've done a put a fair bit of age on it doing this because I haven't been really that careful a little dink in the tank there paint scratch and where I've spilt petrol but She's an old cruiser, old cruiser? I mean an old bruiser. It's not a show bike. Um, a few battle scars, I'm not bothered about. It's, it, this isn't the pretty shiny XJR. This is just a, a tractor. So uh, happy with that. Right, that's it. Um, I'll edit this, well I'll not edit it. Put it all together, upload it. Uh, that's enough for that uh, till I take it for a ride and see if she runs okay so I think it'll be alright but who knows anyway thanks for uh, watching me watching this being with me um, I'm still fried <laughs> four hours sleep last night my back's my back to playing up at the moment so uh I was half asleep when I started this video and I'm pretty much fully asleep now. But anyway, I'll catch you later. I've been Springy. Peace and love. See you soon. Thank you.